This conference will now be recorded. So this session is continuation of the same session which I've taken uh, in last week for integration with other models. Okay, so here REFX, how we can integrate with plant maintenance, how we can integrate with project system, how we can integrate with asset management. Okay, that is also we are understanding. So in my previous session, I have explained that how we can uh, assign function location to master data in REFX and then with reference to that, how we can create a notification and then how we can process PM order to manage our cost there in the plant maintenance. So whatever cost is there, which is going to incur on PM order, then how we can settle uh, these, these, this cost to REFX object. Okay, so that is that is basically comes within the plant maintenance, but conceptually I have explained that how exactly it is working and then how the cost is going to be posted into REFX master data. Similarly, in case of project system, uh, I have just given one example. So I'll elaborate it more because last week I couldn't uh, upload that session. Okay, so I'll just uh, give you an idea how on what basis this PS integration happened in the REFX. And then we'll go to understand uh, next coming processes for the contract perspective, like how lease out has happened, lease in has happened, how we are managing sale based scenarios, service charge settlement. So, all these scenarios we will discuss further. So, as I told you, that this is specifically I'm just keeping for project system uh, integration understanding. So, let me take you through. Okay, so first of all, let us understand the example of project system integration here. Do you have any idea of project system? Anyone? Pragya, do you have any idea of project system? Uh, what really you are referring to? I don't have any idea. In okay. SAP, I don't have. Uh, so actually what happened uh, whenever we are managing any project, here, SAP project system is helping us to manage our project, starting from initiation to ending over. In SAP, there is one module called PS project system. And there is a one more concept here available in s called EPPM, Enterprise Portfolio Project Management. Okay. Enterprise Portfolio and Project. Okay, this, this is basically a package. This is a group of module where we are having EPM. Okay, that is a portfolio. Portfolio and project management. Okay, then CPM. We are calling it as a commercial project management. And third is a ES. We are calling it as a project system. And one more is EPC. EPC that is an enterprise project connection. Okay. So when we are understanding SAP uh, real estate life cycle, okay, that time PS, EPM, and PS is playing very important role. Okay, so let's just come back, uh, go back to our previous session which we had in the, I think that was second or first session where we were trying to understand the process of REFX. Okay, so here we are having, uh, whenever any company is going for any uh, real estate business, so let's say they are just procuring any buildings or they are just going for the construction, okay, for buildings and then further they are uh, leasing out their units, okay. So this is scenario. So first of all, whenever they are starting, this business, even they are understanding whether they are supposed to go for this kind of project or not. So here, based on the company's uh, policies, based on the objectives of the organization, they are they are analyzing it and then they are proceeding for the project. Okay, so this may be a procurement or this may be a construction. So here, PPM portfolio project management is helping us. Okay, where based on the KPIs, based on you can you can find out whether uh, what will be the payback period for this project? What will be the uh, uh, NPV for this project? So these are the some 
KPI is based on which we can calculate and we can decide whether we're supposed to go for this project or not. Okay. So here PPM is playing this role and then further once it is decided that let's go for this. Okay. Let's say my company is deciding to go for constructing a building. Okay. And then once construction is done, then each apartment will lease out. In that case, project system will play important role here. Okay. Project system. Project system, uh, project system, as I told, it is this itself helping you to manage the complete life cycle of project. So here in PPM, you are deciding whether you are going for it or not. And once you have decided, then you are managing it in the project system. Okay, so project system, we are having a phases. Okay, or you can say in any project, we are having phases like initiation, then planning, then execution and monitoring, and then final is handing over. Okay, so here project system is helping us to manage all these activities or tasks which comes with a particular phase. Okay, so let's say you have decided here that you are going with the construction of project. Here, once you entered in the project system, then you are deciding that what will be the phases for this project. Okay, so just I'm taking a typical example for it. Okay, I'm saying we are having four. Four phases in this project, for example. Okay, so first phase, let's say initiation. Let's talk a little about these phases and then I'll I'll show how you can manage this in the project. Then planning. Then execution. and monitoring and control. We are following waterfall methodology here. Yes. Oh. Then last is Here, uh, once it is done, okay. So initiation when we are starting any project, what we may require here in initiation, let's say any building, okay, where which we are decided to construct. In that case, we need a consultant. Okay, we need we need a consultant. We need a designer who can help us to design this building, and then and then who can exactly consult us what exactly we need to uh, procure. All these things need to be done in this phase initiation, or if it is a Let's say you are you don't have land as of now, so you need to procure the land. And even before procuring, you need to just do the uh, area analysis that in which area you need to construct this. And second is like you are just buying the uh, land, and then once it's done, then it is going for legalization. And once legalization is done, then you are hiring a consultant, and then you are giving this complete requirement to consultant. And consultant is suggesting you to go in the these steps. The designer is there and once designer is providing the design then based on that it is going for next level of approval once it is done then it is going for next level of draft cost planning and material so these are some some uh, normal practices normal uh, activities which we are managing here in the initiation and once it is done then it is going to the planning phase in planning phase we are doing the cost planning where that based on requirement of material requirement of manpower requirement of other resources what's supposed to be my cost for this project and then this cost is going for the approval then once it is approved then it is becoming a budget so means like if the cost is my 100 uh, million or let's say 100 uh, crore usd and then uh, 10 10 that is a 10 million usd and then your budget is approved only 9 million USD, 9 million USD. so this means you can you can put only 9 million in the system will control it so we are having budget control in the project system and once it is done the planning part is done like your resource planning your material planning your cost planning budget planning everything is done then it will go to the execution then phase of execution your contractor uh, 
uh, your vendor will start to work or your liver will start to work and then it is the real work is happening on the site and then it is going to monitor where you are going for the inspections okay and then once your building is ready then you are handing over so this is the place where you are handing over to real estate department that yes this is the product and this is the units which we are having and you need to manage these units now okay so here you are going to create a real estate master data once your project is handed over so this is a this particular building which we have constructed that is a part of your that is a that is a, that is an investment for you okay so this kind of project we are calling investment project and process where we are doing investment for ourselves so here in the phase of this project we are having a object called AUC asset under construction so whatever cost is going to be incurred in a particular period that cost will be posted in AUC asset under construction okay so this means when your project was started in initiation and handed over this project has taken let's say one and a half years so till one and a half year until unless my final product is not ready the monthly cost which we are going to which is going to incurred in the project that will be transferred into AUC as a month end activity we are calling it as you can say your project to project to voice is not clear now is it fine pragya my voice is clear it's like breaking in between uh, sometimes we get to hear sometimes okay maybe some network Let issue yeah let's network is okay network is okay okay i'll okay okay now it's fine yeah it's better okay so here uh, till your handing over of your product your project cost which is going to incurred in project object like work breakdown structure or network activities that will be settled to euc asset under construction and once your product is ready then it will be transferred to your asset okay so asset is part of asset accounting okay so here asset will be created once your final building is ready so building is your asset or individually rental unit you can create as asset okay and then the individual cost which is incurred on that particular wbs you can sell it to uh, asset or what you can do whatever the cost is going to uh, uh, capture in this project in first level of wbs element uh, you can distribute to all the asset which you kept as a apartment okay this is up to you this is again depend on the uh, your organization policy okay so here when you are creating master data in refx that particular asset you can attach to your refx master data okay so this asset you can assign to your rental object or you can assign to your building okay this is again depend how you are managing your assets here in the system okay so this linking this linking of your wbs element to your asset or to linking of your wbs element to your refx object that we can see in the system that how exactly it is proceeding from ps to refx that is the one example okay so here first is finish first is a uh, your portfolio project management which is which is helping us to manage your idea or your proposal whether you supposed to go for this project or not once it is decided your project is going to manage in project system once your product is ready once your building is ready in that time you are creating asset you are assigning this asset uh, you are settling your project cost into the asset and then you are creating refx master data you are assigning this asset to a refx master data okay then again it is choice and then you are managing your contract and meanwhile when it is going in the next level in operation plant maintenance is helping us to manage your facilities okay manage your maintenance activities so this is a complete called real estate life cycle management 
So here we are talking specifically for project system, how exactly it is going to integrate. So this is the one scenario when it is coming from the REFX uh, real estate uh, life cycle management. Another scenario, let's say you are having a uh, you are having a big building, okay, and within that building you just want to create a one uh, substation, okay. Substation is basically one unit which is helping us to distribute our electricity, okay. So let's say this is the building, okay. So this building in REFX will be created under business entity because we know that building cannot be alone without business entity. So we are having business entity and within that business entity we are having building and this building under this building we are constructing one substation or let's say just in business entity itself we are constructing one swimming pool. So here I'm taking example of building substation. So here is the construction of substation. This is a project for me. So whatever activities I need to perform to construct this substation that I need to manage in project system. Okay, starting from initiation to your planning to execution to finally handing over. So once this construction of substation is handed over, in that case, this will become an asset for you. Okay. Or finally, you can settle whatever the cost is coming in this project to your building. So your total building asset value will be green. Okay, so in last session, I have just explained it, but in, I couldn't show you in the system. So today, in today's session, I'll show you exactly how we are managing these all in system. So any question from the concept side, anything? Not from my side, I got it. Okay, so here in project system, we are having a transaction called project builder. Okay, and for project builder, we are having a Fury application also available. Okay, just let me see if I can show you this one. Second time, meanwhile, I'll just show you here in the ones. Okay, so this is a Fury landing page. Okay, and here we are having spaces. These are the spaces, and uh, these are the applications within the spaces. We can have the pages under the spaces also, but here in my system, I'm having only spaces, and then we are having application. So I can find all the spaces here. Uh, let me see if I can show you for the project specifically. Okay, so here I'm having just near about I suppose to have my task. Okay, so this is a basically this wherever I'm having uh, project management office, this is coming from PPM portfolio and project management and uh, project steering committee. Let me just check because here some of the applications are not activated. So that's why I'm not able to view that one. Okay, let me go through with the transaction. So here, uh, the transaction to manage your project is called CG20N, Project Builder. Okay, and here we can uh, see the projects. Basically, this is similar to like how we are having REAT transaction in REFX. REAT itself is being used to create your master data. It is being used to create your contract. It is being used to manage your contract. So almost all kind of business transactions you are executing through REAT. Similarly, CJ20N in 
in project system it is being used to manage your master data and to execute to perform some other transaction for the execution so here just take an example of construction of pro construction project okay or let's say house construction project so here you just double click this is the area where we can see all our last latest uh, created or process project and here you will see the project hierarchy and right side you will see objects okay so this is a project definition how house construction project so project definition is nothing it's just header of the project where we are having code project code and description okay and you will see here organization structure under which this project is created like we are having ceo area company board business area plant so all the required settings everything will be done by the ps consultant here even business transaction also will be supported and taken care by the PS consultant only, but being a REFX consultant, we are supposed to know how process will be followed here, just to understand and then how the data is coming back to my REFX. <clears throat> okay. So whenever we are starting a project, we are creating a project definition which is having project project definition code description under the specific organization structure. Here we can enter the responsible person who is managing this project and who has applied for this project this is start date of the project and end of the project okay apart from that we are having some other data on control administration partner who is the partner for this project okay and then under this project definition we are having wbs element so this is a work breakdown structure it means breaking down of work in small pieces of task okay that's the work breakdown structure so here house construction we have segregated in civil work land purchase and handover just for understanding and here then all the activities the tasks which need to be performed then it will be created under that okay so for example let's say if i'm taking example of handover so handover uh this is a network handover network i just need to take it to handover wbs element here so under the wbs element we are having network network is having activities okay in project system we are having different type of activities internal activity external activity service activity and cost activity internal activity the activities which has to be performed by internal resources external activity the activity which will be performed by external resources like when vendor or contractor is performing some activities for us and third is service activity when we are hiring any services from any third party so in that case we can create a purchase requisition service purchase requisition and then it will go for the purchase order and then team will start to work for us and then it will be inspected work will be inspected and then it will be confirmed okay so that cycle we are having and then we are having cost activity which we need to uh, create when we are going to manage additional cost in the execution phase okay so here this is just overview what objects we are having we are having project definition we are having wbs element we are having network we are having activities and all your subsequent Transactions will be managed based on WBS element, network, and activities only. Like whatever the budget planning is happening, cost planning is happening, procurement is happening. So once you are receiving a cost, once you are, your cost is going to be posted in, w, in project. So this means it is going to be posted on WBS element or network activity. Okay. So activity alone is nothing. It's a, just a combination of network, which is a unique number, and then activity. So whenever, let's say if you are doing a purchase for, let's say, uh, maintenance of POC open item. So you just want to uh, take a service of your any electrical uh, contractor. So you can create a purchase order and with reference to that purchase order, he will start to do the maintenance for you, for example. So in that case, whatever the maintenance is activity is executing, you need to confirm in the system. So when you are confirming, automatically cost will be posted into my this activity with reference to this network. Similarly, this total cost will be posted here or transferred as a part of settlement process here to WBS element. Okay. <clears throat> and let's say land purchase. Land purchase is direct procurement process where you will not have purchase order in most of the cases because you are doing mutation registration only, right? So in that case, the direct posting will be done in the finance FD60 transaction you can use to post directly and then your cost will be incurred here on this wbs element so once your finally house is going to be constructed which is your asset then total cost will be 
cattle into asset. So monthly settlement will happen from WBS element to AUC, and then AUC to asset will be settled once your final product is ready. Okay, so this is just just about the project system here. It's very uh, it's having very lengthy process. This is just one idea. Okay, so here in REFX, how you can assign? Let us understand that one, and then I'll just go through the complete cycle of business transactions to show you here. So the transaction is REAT. You see the master data. Let's say to this building you want to attach a project here. So go here and go to the sign. Okay, and go to here. So here is the place where you can assign the function location. You can assign the asset also. So we are coming to the same point again. If you want to add asset, you want to assign any asset, you can search that asset. Let's say electrical work. I think this is okay. this is not that much of relevant, but yes, this how we can exactly assign. So this is the way how we are assigning asset to my REFX master data. Similarly, we can assign the project system also. Any idea why we are not getting project system here in option? Anyone? What is, what is this, sir? What is the question? Why we are not getting project system here in option to add? Option. See, when I'm coming here, okay. asset and function location only is shown. Okay, there in controlling area, any activation is there? REFX, where there's no activation. PS project also should activate. Uh, see, at least I supposed to get this option here. To add, like how I'm getting option to add asset and function location. Similarly, I'll mm -hmm. get here one more option to add PS project system. system project also. Achha, achha. Okay. Why it is not giving, coming? Because somewhere some configurations are missing. Okay, mm -hmm. so we need to check that one in REFX here. Okay, just a second. Once again, yes. One second, just a second, please. I'm, I'm having a call, just a second. Yeah, one second please just i'm checking some some missing configuration I'll, I'll tell you exactly what are the missing but i'm just checking that one
Okay. So see what is happening here to integrate with function location, fixed asset projects and C order. Okay, so this is the setting. This is very important. Okay, here you need to come to flexible real estate management. Go to general settings for master data and contract. Go to assignment of objects from other component. Here you just go down and see here assign function location, fixed asset projects and C order. You click here and it will take you here. Okay, let me just double click here it will show you in this way so here what are the object exactly it is going to be link so here we, i am having building for example building okay so here object type for building is ib ib it's a refx name object type name refx object type name is ib and here object type is bu building and then assignment object type is an asset Okay, similarly for building, IF is their function location, but there is no PS option is given. So let me just take a copy of this. I'll copy. Okay, and here in place of uh, S8, I'll change it to PS here. Press enter. See. Now I'll get this option to link PS project here. Okay, so let me just come out. Okay, then I'll come out completely. REAT. Okay, and go to here. Go to assignment. Here, go to change. Now I'm getting WJ assignment. Okay, sorry, here it's BE. Let me go to the building because specifically we are talking about building one. Then BE it is already given the provision, but in now in uh, building also it is coming, right? WBS element. So here you just click here and you need to select the WBS element. I'm just selecting random as of now, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you how exactly we can create this and how we can assign it here. <clears throat> Like this way, I can add the WBS element. So, so 
so business cases clear what is the business case and how we are assigning the uh, how we are configuring to make the changes to get wbs element option here and then how we are assigning the wbs element clear any question okay let me create my own wbs here then i'll assign okay so for example let's say just i want to create a, a substation project so i will go to the transaction cg20n and then this is the option to create go to project and this is the project code project definition you double click here you click here go to e hyphen okay just go to p hyphen double zero this is a project coding start value i'll see what is the available number in system to create a project so p hyphen double zero five seven this is the project code and here i'll say let's say substation you can copy this project from existing project also but i'm creating it from sketch i'm creating a standard project profile all zeros one press enter so this is the project definition created based on the profile which is going to be selected here standard project profile all my data will be copied here from project profile so now you can see controlling area to the zero one company code everything it is coming based on the profile now under this project definition we will create a wbs element so i'll create a first level of wbs element so let's say this is the first level of wbs element here substation substation translation under this i'll create different different wbs elements. right click and go to create with the wbs element i'll make it this hyphen this is just i'm doing it manually but this is supposed to be automatically okay there is some setting required for this okay uh here i'm saying civil uh, i'll create one more wbs element mechanical work so these are the wbs element okay so this level let's say this wbs element you can assign to your business entity or you can assign to the building so let's say assign it to the building this is my existing building okay and under that there is one wbs element which we have assigned it into let me just remove it i'll make it more relevant go to add wbs element and then enter it select that's it okay so relationship valid relationship valid to this you can select if this particular wbs element is relevant to option read okay there is one process then you need to select it otherwise we just keep it as it save it so this wbs element is assigned so here we are having code wbs element code okay in the in refx side we are having option to see this okay but in ps side we don't have anything whether this particular wbs is assigned to any building or not let me see what exactly we are having here because sometimes business is asking for this relationship okay that they just want to see this relationship here so assignment we don't have any field here nothing okay so here what is the approach there is the approach you can you can uh, show this particular assigned re object here in this project definition or in this particular wbs element so what is the basic idea of it if you want to go for it that generally whenever you want to see additional field from other object you need to add these field in your table okay so that you can just correlate it so here the table se 16n is the transaction to see the table and wbs table is prps so you as a refx consultant supposed to know that if i am 
adding, if I'm linking this particular, uh, if I'm adding one field here, PRPS, like let's say building, okay, in front of building is supposed to show to which building it is assigned. Okay, so in that case, you can bring it here. So this is a table here where you can add this new field and you can bring this field directly from the REFX table. Okay, so VIBDBU. VIBDBU is the table for building and you can see if WBS is here. This will not be directly available because this is a relationship. So there is one more table for it. Okay. You can just explore it because we are having so many things here to just check. There is a uh, this object uh, object number based on object number you can search it. So this is the table where we can find all the all the uh, views. Okay, and you can bring these views. You can attach to particular field which you are adding into PRPS, and here you can show some value. Okay, let's say some additional field, or you can have additional tab. Okay, so this work will be done by PS consultant, but you as the REFX consultant supposed to know the concept and you can help him also if anything is required from REFX. Got it? Any question, please? No, sir, sir. No, sir, for me. Okay. So, no question from your side. Okay. Any other question? <coughs> Anyone? Okay. So, here, see, uh, I was explaining that day that how you can, uh, you you supposed to know that the sequence, what exactly is happening, happening. So, this is your project, construction of substation. Okay. Here, within that, this project, you are having WBS element and you will go, get cost here on this pro in WBS element. Okay. So, there are different ways to get this cost. What are these different ways? You can get it from your GRM good receipt note. When you are receiving any material on your project side, then good receipt is happening. Okay, so that is the business transaction, which is posting. Okay, so how you are getting exactly the actual cost, actual cost posting on your project. So when you are confirming activity, Confirmation of activities, okay, or good receipt, service entry sheet confirmation. Okay, so when material received or when you are confirming contractor's work, yes, this work is done. So this means you are liable to pay to your contractor. So actual cost will be posted into the system. And then CATS, cross application timesheet. means let's say from internal team any project manager is working okay or any other employees working so his time also need to be post onto the project this cross application time sheet this may be through direct posting also direct direct posting in FI. so let's say in case of uh, here for this project construction of substation in this project you are buying some stationery okay so this is stationery you don't need any any purchase or anything. You need just a petty cash and based on that, you can buy. So this petty cash or directly posting, which you are doing in the system, that is direct posting and applying. So you are getting the cost and then this cost is available in this project. Okay, and then you can settle this project to building. Okay, so let us see this. Just a few things I'll show you here. Quickly, I'll show. So here, as of now, nothing is there. Let me just put some cost on this project. Uh, I'll create directly purchase order ME 20. So here. So this is basically MM transaction. This PO we are creating our project. Okay. So let's say this is for electrical work. 
the electrical work does not exist is not activated okay plant this to the number material group is i'm selecting 01 here we can maintain the services let's say electrical quantity let's say 100 unit each gross price let's say it is 7 or 2000 so here we need to enter the wbs element so here wbs element is account assignment electrical work i just take this real code i need to enter it manually because it is supposed to come automatically but here some settings need to be done again okay so once it is saved my purchase order is ready this is my purchase order with reference to that we can confirm the service entry sheet so once your vendor is completing his work he will submit his This is complete worksheet that this is this is the work which we have done, and you as the project manager system need to confirm this. There is a transition M L T on that, and you will see application also specifically for that. So here, just select the purchase order. I am going quickly because this is not that much of relevant for you, but I would like to show you so that things will be clear in your mind. Electrical work, and here go to create. Confirmation over. Then go to services. Select all. Select it. Add up the services. So system status is created because the WBS is not released for execution. So that's why system is not allowed to confirm. Let me release this WBS. Now I come back to in project CJ twenty M. Okay. Go to here. Go to edit. Go to status. Go to release. Let's see. Once it is done, then I can do the posting. Okay, so I am able to do that now. So here, quantity is hundred out of hundred. I am confirming thirty. Now save that. Once I am saving, service entry sheet will be created. This is a service entry sheet number, but it is not accepted until unless it is not accepted. System will not post FI posting. So we are going to release it. So just in the same transaction, MLT one, I am releasing. Release code. Now the one code is there. Based on that, this will be released. Posting not possible in this period. Okay. okay. So posting period basically here we are having posting period in FI that is in zero five ten two thousand twenty. Here this will be also. Let's make the same. System is open only for October 2020, so that's why I'm selecting different dates. So now this is coming green. Service entry sheet is created. Okay, and here you can see acceptance data. Posting is done. History. Okay, you can see all the history. And uh, if you want to see the actual cost for this, you need to go to transaction uh, reporting in project system. Okay, this is to this folder here. Project system, accounting, project system, go to information system, go to financials, go to cost, go to plan based, practical, five category reports. So this will give you the idea what exactly cost is cost. So this is the project. Here, this is my project, and this is the actual cost posted into particular WBS element. So this is the WBS element, one point six five six. You can see if you want to know the detail of this cost, you can check it here in the column report. So this all activities which I have performed here, it is from project system and MM side. Now this cost, whatever total cost is coming, that has to be settled into your AUC first, as it under construction. Okay, so how I'll get AUC here? You come here in the CJ twenty M. So I am in CJ twenty M now. You go to electrical work. And here you will see control 
investment profile you enter investment profile you just select investment profile i'm selecting standard one press enter result analysis key not intended okay so this result analysis key need to be removed then only it will work because result analysis key is for customer project okay so press enter okay, that's it okay so once i'll save Tesla will show me the EUC. So let's say this is my electrical work. I just want to show, I want to see the EUC created for the WBS element. You go to CJ20 and you select this one, go to edit and go to WBS element, go to investment program, go to asset, asset under construction. So this is the EUC for me, asset 40017, which is having asset class 40001. This basically comes in the asset accounting. So here, this is account determination and all. So whatever cost is posted here, okay, that will be this. This need to be settled into KUC first. So let me show you here the rules. We are having settlement rules in the system, which is showing us what is source and what is the target. Means from which source to which target this cost is going to be posted. So this WBS element go to edit, go to cost, go to settlement rule. So as of now, nothing is maintained here. Okay, same concept I've explained in my previous session also. So here the settlement will happen in two steps. Okay, first it will go from WBS to WBS to AUC, and then full settlement will happen from WBS AUC to SX. Okay, so your asset values itself is your building value right correct now <clears throat> okay so how you can do the settlement here just show you here this is a fi job okay here go to transition cj eta this is my project settlement period so settlement period is basically 10 because we have done the posting in october 2020 that was the only open 2020 i'm doing it posting period also i'll take 10 and asset value dates let's take automatically and processing type is automatic so we are having two type of settlement one is the automatic or periodic which we are calling or monthly settlement another is a full settlement so first i'm selecting automatic let me see test run go to execute system will execute it there is some error you can see it here Receiver category FX is not allowed by settlement. So there is some configuration missing here, FX. The settlement profile specified which receiver categories you can settle a center to receiver category FX is not allowed by settlement profile this or this center. Assign a settlement profile to the center the implement which is the required receiver category. Okay, let me see what is the configuration missing here. So here to see, you go to CJ20. Okay, here we can see all the details parameters this is settlement profile i have overhead cost let me just change it this one also be investment measure So let me save it. I'll do this transaction again. Let me see if it's done. Yes, now it is executed. So settlement executed. Let me see this again. I'll execute for detail run. So this was executed for test run. Now I'll go for detail list now. Execute. Yes, set the settlement has happened. Go to detail list. Accounting. So this is sender and this is the receiver. Sender is my WBS element and receiver is my AUC. Okay. If you want to see accounting document, you can see it here. Accounting document that will be generated. So this setting will be in project system. Okay. Project system and FIC. So this is accounting document. You can see all transactions happen. 
what is the service cost and another is where it is going to debit and credit based on the key. Okay, next is next settlement is from your UC2 asset. Okay, so let me see what exactly it is showing here in the CD container. From here, go to electrical work, go to extras. Extra, go to add it, add it, go to cost, go to settlement rule. Okay, so here one line is generated automatically because this is already posted. Now, which we need to do it manually. So, FXA, we need to select which asset it need to be transferred. So, what is my asset now? Let's say building, right? Building is my asset. So, I can create a one asset here in asset accounting. By using transaction key as zero one. Okay, this is asset class. Let me select asset class here. Company to zero one. So building eleven hundred. Company code number of similar asset. Okay, fancy building. Number one. Here exactly this was. This Sunbridge apartment. Sunbridge. That's it. Okay. Cost center. Let me see some cost center. This project and this building project. Building period was zero one. This is zero one. Cost center is not assigned to business area. Oh, okay. Let me see. Building area. Okay, useful life at say five years. Five years. Five years. Asset is ready. One double zero three. Asset is created. Let me see this. Go to change. This is my asset now. Let me go to asset. That's it. So here everything is fine. This asset will be receiver for me now. Let me show you here. Go to Project. We are here in the project. So this is FXA. What I'm doing now, I'm creating a settlement rule. So this is my category FXA. This is my settlement receiver. Press enter. 100% value I want to set in full. Okay. Come on, come out. Go to save. Now I'll I'll execute settlement process again. So this was my settlement. Now this is the full settlement. Okay. Just a second. Here is my process. Project is this the settlement period is 10, posting period is 10, fiscal is 2020. In place of X process type, automatically this will become a full settlement. Remove detail list, let me go for test run first. Everything is fine, I think. Everything is fine. Now I need to just remove test run, go to detail list. Settlement is happening. Now you can see the asset value. Asset value. Okay, this is total asset value now. Okay. Here you can analyze it. Okay, and this asset also you can assign to your building. How this was assigned. Asset assigned as of now, let me remove it and assign correct. I'm removing this asset. Remove now, enter asset. Okay, so this is my asset. Clear? Any question, please? No. And further, you can you can you can see this settlement also. See, as of now in this process, I have settled directly to the asset, but I am having one more scenario and I can settle it to building first. Okay, and then from building to asset is settled. That's another stage. But I have taken another route. I have just settled it to asset. Your voice is again breaking. 
Yeah, so what I did here, I have settled it directly to the asset, but you, there is another option where you can settle project to your REFX object and then REFX object to asset you can settle. Okay. Okay, so this is a complete cycle of this. Uh, here, as a configuration perspective, already I have explained a node in REFX where what you need to do. There is only one node which you need to configure. Apart from this node, PS consultant need to configure the complete PS project system apart from that the coding mask that is important that on what code he is going to define and then accordingly how we are going to reading it in my REFX that's it. Okay. From PS side we don't have anything but how we are analyzing the cost and complete cycle this is the scenario. Okay. <coughs> okay. So in next session we'll go for uh, the condition adjustment okay? or lease out okay so still we are discussing lease out okay lease out how we are then we'll understand the termination and then all processing of the contract okay? so next i'll, I'll explain clear yeah, this uh, condi uh, condition adjustment